You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have one of my favorites, T.D. Negroni oh. from Fuller. Seriously, <laughs> you were one of the first shows that I did, and you've oh. been a regular. And well. you have a great job. I do. I have I have one of the best jobs. I'll say I I love it. Um, working at the museum has been a pleasure and a privilege, and uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on there. And and it's great being back. Thank you for having me. It's You're always welcome. fun. You're yeah. welcome. So we're yeah. talking kind of January, February now. Yeah. What, we're, we're, we'll be after the holidays. After so what's the going holidays. on? Okay, because the doldrums of winter, the, yes. the, the the darkness of winter, the yes. hopefully not. Backbreaking snow this year. We're, <laughs> exactly. we're going to leave it at that. Yes. Um, what do people have to look forward to with the warmth inside it for? Well, we have a new education coordinator. She's got a lot of wonderful creative ideas. So first of all, we have these make and take workshops. They're drop-in workshops where you can come. It's every second Saturday of each month. Mm -hmm. You come from 10 to 1230. And with your admission, uh, you can have your child just take whatever course, and you're making a craft of some kind each second Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a lot of uh, different courses. We have introductory courses on the weekend. So each month there's a weekend course where you can learn how to make jewelry. Mm -hmm. Learn how to make stained glass. You know, learn how to do enameling. Learn how to um, to draw. We have drawing classes with your back. Mm -hmm. um, drawing mm -hmm. with pens. You know, creative drawing classes. We also have clay classes too. So those two are very popular. Two media: drawing and working with clay. And we've got a, a great number of, of workshops and classes this coming. Uh, the beginning of the year, so definitely. And that's weekends. And that's weekends. That's okay. weekends. And actually, on Thursday nights too, we have um, on Thursdays we have adult classes too. Uh, we have the drawing class on a Thursday evening. We have the intro to paper making on a Thursday evening. So, so not everything's on the weekends, but you know, we sh she's tried to like really um, mix up the schedule so that. You know, if you are interested in doing something creative, there'll be a class for you. So, yeah. Did you collaborate with the different area schools with any of the stuff? The you know, the Brockton Public Schools, or you know, your yeah. coverage areas kind of draw a circle around Brockton and go you know, 15, 20 yes. minutes in any direction. Because <laughs> if you don't want to fight Boston traffic. Yes. Come to Brockton, right? yes, it's a great alternative to going to the you know school, the Museum of Fine Arts, or going outside of you know, or leaving the South Shore even. Um, if you really want to have a creative experience and and learn, um, and also be inspired by the exhibitions at the same time. For example, we have this whole uh, toothpick world from Sliver to Skyline exhibition that's opening. Uh, you know, it's opening in December, but it's going to be on and we're going to have a wonderful Build and Play Family Day on January 17th. It's going to be so much fun. And Toothpick World is all about these monuments that are recreated using toothpicks. Mm -hmm. And it's fascinating, just the detail and the accuracy of these models. And there, some of them are, you know, big, as big as you or I, you know, mm. and it's really... Uh, very inspiring. You want to get in there and build stuff. So we're going to have a lot of building tools. In the gallery itself is an interactive learning gallery too. So there's a little place where you can go and actually make things inside the gallery. Mm. So any day that you know you want to come by and have a good creative experience at Fuller Craft, you can come to that exhibition, Toothpick World, and make something new. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we <laughs> got a, a new. What did you say? Art. Education coordinator, coordinator, Sage Brousseau, yes. Okay. And she's bringing summer camps, too. And I'm going to mention them now because now, you know, January, February, March is the time to actually register for summer camps. There are a lot of people who are making those decisions. And we've got this wonderful craft in nature summer camp. Mm -hmm. summer program and it runs from July to August um, but like I said really now is the time to start thinking about where you want your child to have a creative experience for the summer. Do you take do like yeah. a deposit or something on that so you can register and, and, and you hold the spot? Uh, something like that okay. yeah yeah okay. and actually the details she's worked out so you should definitely call us up and or go online and and put down a uh, payment for it. 
We'll, to put, reserve the, a we'll spot. Put, put the information up. So give us the phone number and the website again. Yes, www.fullercraft.org. And that's 508 588 6000. And it'll be a wonderful experience. They're half day sessions. And, you know, depending on if you're in grades one through three or four through six, you can come in the morning or the afternoon and really just um, and have a really wonderful creative experience for your child. No, yeah. Mentioned summer camps, but yep. let's talk February school vacation. Yes. You guys do stuff for school vacations. Yes, we have our sensation day. And you and everyone should mark their calendars. It's February 18th. And it's from um, 10 to 2 p.m. And it's a day where you can come. It's a free day. Uh, well, I should say it's, it's a free afternoon usually or, or span of time where kids can come and make things, we have all kinds of craft activities, we have all kinds of demos, and it's a great way to experience the museum. So definitely February 18th, you want to come and join us for our Sensation Day. School Vacation Week, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yes, is, it's uh, that uh, Thursday. The usually Thursday of School of Vacation, school vacation President's Week. Day is the Monday, and that's the holiday, and that's the, the, the I guess, midwinter recess, or whatever they call it. <laughs> yes, <Thursday>. yes. <laughs> Back in winter the day, break. it was, it was a, we, we had... Lincoln's birthday, we had Washington's birthday, yeah. now it's just President's Day, and then you yeah. think of cars, yeah. so maybe we get people to start thinking Fuller instead of the cars. Yes, right? yes, definitely, okay. think of us. Okay. <laughs> what else am I missing? Anything that we, we can have, fill in the gaps? Um, well, we have chess at Fuller Craft, so we have a chess club if you're interested. We have um, a Spiegel Club a Spiegel Cup Championship on January 31st. You can sign up to participate in that. Or if you just want to participate in our regular quarterly chess club, come by, play chess, have some pizza, learn some moves. The next one is March 20th. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, that sounds interesting too. Yeah. Now, I know you do things because Thursday night is the open night, 5 to 9, yes. during different times of the year, more so during the summer and in the fall, you do Thursday nights. Is there anything in the winter months, or, or are we going to wait till the spring? We're going to wait till the spring. Okay. We're going to wait. We, we had a few things last year that, you know, got snowed out, so we're going to wait till the spring and, and do some programming. But I'll tell you, we have some wonderful exhibitions coming up um, this spring, um, paper cutting, um, we have a political show called Faces of Politics. Mm. Um, we have a counter craft, which is kind of like an indie craft um, DIY exhibition. Okay. Um, so the spring's got You'll a lot of You'll come back and tell us. Yes, I'll come once back. We, once we get through the, <laughs> the, the, the holidays <laughs> and the winter, yes. we'll do that. Yes, yes. Okay. So lastly, um, we always do a little membership pitch yes, on the show. Yes, yes. It is a great time to become a member of Fuller Craft Museum. Um, you know, you get 10% off our holiday shop, and we've got some beautiful things there. Also, it's a great gift to give someone the opportunity to enjoy a creative space and creative um, lectures, events at a discount. That's really, um, it's, it's, it's worth a lot. So definitely a valuable gift and investment in yourself too so become a member of Fuller Craft Museum. Well thanks for joining us as usual we're yeah. looking forward we're gonna <laughs> get over there and give you a sneak peek but in order to get the real experience you actually have to go there and show up. Yes yes come we're open Tuesday through Sundays 10 to 5 and we're free on Thursday nights from 5 to 9 too so which is a lovely time to come and experience the museum. Sounds good. All right. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.